Sometimes we just feel. Sometimes. Sometimes we just feel a lack of motivation and or discipline. You know, there's something that we want to get done, but it just won't happen and we feel stuck. Now, let's be frank here. Consuming content about productivity does not equal you actually being productive. So if you thought you're being productive right now by watching this, you're not, unless by the end of this, you make use of something that you heard here. Now, I don't want to make this seem complicated because it doesn't have to be. Most of the things that I'll be talking about are going to sound super basic and that's because they are. You know, I know it's tempting to disregard things that sound too simple to work, but things don't need to be complex to be effective. Okay, so a productive day. Now I like to split it into three parts and that is the day before, the day of, and the night of. So let's start with the day before. Now I want to go to bed every night feeling good and feeling ready for whatever it is that I need to be doing the next day. So let's start with the feeling good part of the day before. See, if I go to bed at night feeling good, chances are that I will wake up feeling good. And if I wake up feeling good, I will want to do good things. And to increase the probability of that happening, I take care of myself. You know, exercise, diet, hygiene, sleep. See, I told you it would be basic, but that's what makes it so great. Exercise makes me feel good about myself throughout the day, both mentally and physically. And the same thing goes for eating well and hygiene. You know, fresh sheets, a nice hot shower before bed, a relaxing, nighttime skincare routine. It just makes me feel some type of way when I go to bed and I wake up feeling clean and fresh. Now, let's move on to the feeling ready part of the day before. So this is the 10 to 15 minutes every night that save me frustration, energy, and time the next day. And the objective is really simple. It is to prepare my environment in order to make any task the following day as simple as possible. And now the very first thing that I do is to create a target list. It's the exact same thing as a checklist or a to-do list. I'm just kind of tired of those words, so I just go with target list. And what I do is that I ask myself what it is that I'm targeting tomorrow. And there are two things that I have learned to keep in mind when creating target lists. The first thing is don't put simple tasks on your list only so that you can easily cross them off. You know, it's easy to trick yourself by doing small, low energy tasks in order to cover up for what you should really be doing. Like if you have a huge deadline for next Thursday that you need to get started on, don't put take out the trash on your list and then reward yourself by watching one season of Friends because you tell yourself that you've been productive. The second thing is that creating a target list in itself is not you being productive. It's merely a tool to help you be productive. You know, there's this thing called productive procrastination. I read a really good article on it. I will link it below. Basically what it says is that feeling productive does not mean that you are being productive. You know, just because you are busy, it doesn't mean that you're actually doing anything of value or doing the things that you should be doing. And that's not to say that all you should focus on is the big tasks, you know, the low effort tasks such as creating this list is important too, but just be mindful of how much time and energy you are spending on the small stuff versus the big stuff. Essentially, you need to be looking at the value produced and not the number of tasks checked off. Okay, so let's go over some of the things from my target list that I created last night for today. So film a role for video, which is the sit down part that you're seeing right now. Film B roll for video, which is all the aesthetically pleasing footage that you see in between um, the sit down footage of me talking. And both of those are sub targets of the main target, which is having a video ready to go on Sunday. Another thing on my list is to get a workout in. Now, once something is on the list, I ask myself what I will physically need for those tasks. So these aren't things that I write down. It's just things that I do. So 
for the filming part of my list, I make sure to charge my camera, to empty my memory card, and so on. For the workout part, I put my workout clothes and mat within reach so that I can just grab them in the morning. And if I want a specific Spotify list, I make sure to prepare that as well. The point is that you don't want to be spending the morning searching the house for your sports bra. You know, don't waste that precious little willpower of yours on unnecessary things that could have easily been avoided. All right, so once I'm all set, and mind you, this has just been 10 to 15 minutes of my night, I go to bed, I wake up, and it's time for part two, which is the day of. So I found that there are three things for me that lead to unproductivity. The first reason is that the objective is unclear. And this happens to me quite a bit, especially with creating videos, for example. You know, sometimes I will have an idea and I will start working on it, but then I stop and ask myself, you know, what is the real purpose of this video? What am I trying to say here? And if I don't know what the intended outcome of a project or a task is, it's difficult to take physical action and to proceed. So really defining what the thing that you are doing or wanting to do really is, is really important. The second thing that leads me to unproductivity is overthinking. And I'm learning to accept that just like there is no perfect moment, there is no perfect decision, you know, because you will never have all the information. You might think that you have come up with a good idea or you might finally feel happy with a project, but then new information will come in, which will create new thoughts. And suddenly you're doubting yourself and you might become discouraged and it's a vicious cycle. And what I try to do when I feel myself getting stuck in that loop is to just start or just stop depending on which end I'm on. And those two things lead to distractions. As I said, an unclear objective makes taking action difficult and overthinking often leads to discouragement. And both of those things lead me to turning to distractions. You know, I think we've all been there where you're doing something and then you just feel like, screw this, and you turn to Instagram or whatever your distraction of choice is, which by the way, being mindful of what distractions I turn to has been really useful for me, you know, to know what's ringing my bell because with that awareness, I can plan on how I'm going to handle those distractions. And I got that from the book, Getting Things Done by David Allen. It's a great book. I will link it below if you want to check it out. I would also like to throw in a productivity tip. It's something that I've been using for the last few months and I found it to be really helpful. And that is the Pomodoro technique. And essentially what that is, is that you set a timer for 25 minutes. And during those 25 minutes, you are fully focused on any given task. And once those 25 minutes are up, you take a five minute break and then you just do that on repeat. And I will leave a few links that might be useful for that. And now the third and final part, which is what I refer to as the night of, which is essentially when the day has come to an end and I sit down for 10 to 15 minutes and just reflect. And that's really important because I just believe that you can't make tomorrow better if you don't understand today. And now this is the part where it's really important to be fully honest because otherwise it's completely useless. And the reason I say that is because I know that sometimes being honest with yourself can be uncomfortable or even embarrassing. You know, you might not want to admit to yourself that you skipped going to the gym because you got stuck watching Netflix. But I found that it's really important to be fully honest. What I essentially do is I ask myself how my day was and then I try to understand what contributed to that. And contributing factors could be people, it could be activities, it could be anything. And so I might ask myself, was I distracted? And if so, what distracted me? Or perhaps I was more productive than usual. And if so, what might have caused that? So I essentially take inventory of my day. And those are some of the tips and tricks that I use and that work for me. I could definitely go more in depth. I know this was a bit touching on the surface, but I didn't want this video to be too long. But if you would want that, 
let me know in the comment section. And also feel free to share any tips and tricks that you might have on productivity. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the comment section.